Hey everybody, it's Jacob again for Y Tuesday. The Y Tuesday Candidate Challenge continues here in Des Moines, Iowa today. Right now we're high atop the bleachers at the uh, East High School football fields. Yesterday we were in that direction near the state, state capitol where we were able to catch up with presidential candidates Ron Paul, Duncan Hunter, and Mike Huckabee. They all talked to us about the Y Tuesday Candidate Challenge, laid out their plans for what they think is going on with America's voting system. We also saw Fred Thompson who wasn't uh, quite so willing to talk to us about the voting system. In a minute we're going to head in that direction to the Maple Street Baptist Church, where U.S. presidential candidate Tom Tancredo, Republican congressman from Colorado, is going to be attending a prayer rally. We thought we'd stop by there, talk to him about the Y Tuesday Candidate Challenge, and see what he thinks about the state of the voting system in the United States. The state of the voting system in America, if you could summarize it, um, what are your feelings about where we're at, uh, voter turnout, voter participation? It's lousy. It's lousy. Voter, you know, it, voter participation can be, I think, um, there's a direct correlation to that, and of course, the general concern that Americans have about the government and what they think their impact can be. What I want to do is talk about the importance of what it means to be an American, the uniqueness of this country and of Western civilization, and that the fact that we're the last best hope. You know, I've often thought to myself that, although I disagree with him almost every single issue I've heard him speak on, I hope Obama is the Democrat nominee. I really do, and, and I'll tell you why. A couple of reasons. First of all, well, I think we could beat him. <laughs> but, but beyond that, I hope that he would inspire people that have, not, have heretofore not gotten involved. And even if they're liberals and, you know, whatever, and I also hope that he provides for, for black youth in this country a, a, a male role model that's not connected to some whacked out uh, video, uh, you know, uh, rap music thing or whatever. You know, somebody, a family man in it. I just think it would be great. And, and, and he would inspire, I think, a lot of people to get into the process that, you know, would not maybe traditionally have done so. How are you planning to vote uh, in the 2008 election? Do you, will, you, will, you vote by, will you vote by an absentee ballot? Are you going to vote in person in Colorado? Um, well, we have, for the most part, voted absentee, simply because we have the problems of getting, knowing I'm going to be able to be there uh, during uh, the election cycle, because I've got this little task in Washington called trying to represent my district. So almost certainly we vote, we have in the, for the past probably, and I just got done last week, we voted in a, it's a local school board election and that sort of thing, but we did it by, um, by mail. And, and so early voting, you think that that should be expanded on a national level where people can come to their polling place and vote uh, in advance of the election or? Well, yeah, I mean, I think that's okay, too. From a candidate's perspective, it's a little dicey because uh, you're trying to plot a, uh, a strategy that, that maximizes your message uh, at the point in time when that well, vote yeah. is occurring. And so you have a, it, it starts to mess up your whole thing about, well, when do you actually start getting your message out? And the earlier you do that, my friend, the more expensive it is. <laughs> I just wrong with these primaries that go on this presidential primary. I feel like I've been in it since I was born. Well, that's a whole, you know, we talk all about the election system. That's another part of it. Um, you know, what do you think about the ex oh. extremely, or ex sorry, ex increasingly long, long primaries? No, I, I, hate, it's, I hate it. I mean, uh, really, I wish we could condense it. I would love to figure out a way to do it. You know, the British system where it's a time constraint, nothing else, not money, nothing else, because I don't believe in McCain Feingold, was a, I think is disaster, um, as almost everything he's got his name on, by the way, that is McCain. You know, our group is called Why Tuesday, because we asked the question today, you know, why do we vote on Tuesday? Trivia. If you don't know the answer, I'll give you the answer, but do you know, do you happen to know why we vote on Tuesday? Um, let's see, is it, does it have something to do with the ability to get people drunk on the front end? <laughs> have the bars open? <laughs> That's so not like, the answer why that not I've heard Sunday or... <laughs> In 1845, Congress passed this law the Tuesday after the first Monday in November to make it convenient for the largely agrarian society, agrarian society. At the time to get to the polls, because, be because. back in time for market day, not traveling on the religious days. Um, you think that's out of date now, or do you like the traditional Tuesday? Day? I think it's of no consequence. Whether it's Tuesday or any other day, it doesn't matter. So if you got, a, if you got, a, if you could summarize your kind of position on uh, getting people out to vote, increasing voter turnout, um, voter participation in a nutshell, you get you get candidates who inspire them. That's it. I mean, 
that's what you have to do. You have to get candidates who inspire people to do something, to get out, or motivated. They think, that guy, that lady, whoever it may be, they're really, you know, they get my juices flowing. I believe in them. Uh, it's a task of a, of a candidate, right? It is. It's a challenging one. But uh, issues also, you know, look at this. I mean, this issue is going to get a lot of people. Issues have a tendency to get a lot of people out. And it's used by both, you know, it's a fascinating thing because in states where you can put something on the ballot through the initiative process, it is used all the time by proponents of certain things that have nothing to do with the initiative that they're pushing.